yeah, my job is watching movies, but I'm not a critic. My job is watching movies and then sharing them with people. It's not something which is easy to define, but uh, film has given me the power to pursue this. I'm Colin Geddes, and I'm one of the international programmers at the Toronto International Film Festival, and this is my office. I guess the route that I had to becoming a film programmer was going to the Toronto Film Festival, or back then when it was known as the Festival of Festivals. My first year in Toronto for college for graphic design, I kind of skipped off for that first week to go to the film festival. I stood in line for the first year of Midnight Madness at the Bloor Cinema, and every year I went back and I saw more and more films. In many ways, TIFF was my film school, and it was through going to the festival that I was introduced to cinema from Hong Kong. And in many ways, that's how I became a programmer. Over here, I've got some examples of some of the Hong Kong movie posters. This is uh, King Boxer, which was one of the first martial arts films ever released in North America. And these have all come from old Chinese movie theaters, Chinatown movie theaters, we were in Toronto, uh, Project A with Samuel Hung, Yen Bio, and Jackie Chan. Back before the internet, we had fanzines. So I did a fanzine which was called Asian Eye. Uh, the first issue had an interview with John Woo before he went to Hollywood. Uh, the second issue, I had an interview with Jackie Chan, again, kind of before he went to Hollywood. And that really got me the attention of some of the staff at TIFF, some of the programming staff. And then in 1997, Noah Cowan, who was the programmer of Midnight Madness at the time, asked to be his co-programmer. And so I worked with him selecting some of the films. And the following year, in 1998, uh, he gave me the program to look after. And that's how I became the Midnight Madness programmer. The Midnight Madness audience are serious cinephiles who've been seeing films all day long, and this is their final stop for the day, and they want to be woken up. I mean, it's really fun being able to find and discover filmmakers and talent and really give them the spotlight for the first time ever. So this is a picture of the Uptown Cinema, which was the home for Midnight Madness uh, for many years until unfortunately it closed. One day, on my doorstep, I'm still not sure who gave this to me. Someone left this for me. Uptown Theatre, 1920 to 2003. This is one of the armrests from the cinema. Really mysterious present that I'm incredibly grateful to uh, whoever gave it to me. I'm sure it's probably a, uh, it was a loyal Midnight Madness audience who, audience member. <laughs>